Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. I'll probably have a hard time putting into words, at least coherently, what I'm feeling at this very moment. I was only four when Vietnam was divided into the communist north and the U.S. back south. And then about 25 years of age when when Saigon fell to advancing communist hordes from the north. It was the spring of 1975. I remember well the South Vietnamese president fleeing his country and those who fought communism being left in the lurch. A lot of parallels to what is going on right now on the tarmacs of Afghanistan. I'm now 71 years of age and I'm watching history repeat itself. And yet, and yet the American withdrawal from Saigon was that of a very different America, a very different Western civilization. In today's America, we've been trying to import our woke, our woke American values to women in Afghanistan. Values that must, must surely make Afghanis cringe in retrospect. Values like one encapsulated in a headline I read just yesterday. It's still emblazoned on my mind. The headline read, Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine Includes Chest Feeding. Includes Father's Milk in our new guideline. Imagine how women and children exposed to this kind of American nonsense now feel as the Taliban surrounds them and begins subjecting these icons of God in virtually every dimension of their lives to to horrors that are unimaginable, horrors unimaginable, at least unless you think back to what happened in places like Vietnam and and Cambodia. I've been to both of those places. I still remember the aftermath of the Khmer Rouge. It's memorialized in... And thousands of skulls still on display so people will never forget. I remember meeting with one of the last survivors of the Khmer Rouge. The Khmer Rouge that killed somewhere in the vicinity of a quarter of their population. Their own people to advance communism. And somehow or other, all of this is happening again. Today, it's not communism and Kabul and its surrounds, but it is the doctrine of the Taliban. It is the rigid Islamic doctrines that subjugate women and children Of course, men as well, but I'm thinking about the most vulnerable, what they're going to go through in this ill-conceived withdrawal. I'm not going to argue that we shouldn't be out of Afghanistan. That's a different argument. But I will argue that America should never have left in the fashion that it is leaving. It's leaving is symbolic of the discombobulation of a government, moreover, of a people. And the only hope 
for Western civilization right now as I speak is you as a Christian. I was speaking to Christians. We have to be salt and light. We have to make a difference because Western civilization is sliding over a cliff and there are all too few people that can do something about it, but Christians can. Not only can, but must. We can't do anything about what happened in 1975 or 1954. We can do something about the chaos that exists in our culture today. Well, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on another Hank Unplugged short.